Welcome everybody back to the Figure Kit Garage, fellow resin heads and kit builders. Brent Crew with yet another out of the box review. Uh, the base you see in front of me is just one part of a seven piece 3D printed resin kit that arrived in the mail today from Mr. Tony Cipriano, who has started releasing 3D printed resin kits of some of the classic cartoon characters that. Uh, anybody was born in the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s uh, were very familiar with it of the time. Uh, this kit is uh, probably one of the most enduring classic cartoon and comic strip characters of all time, referring to Popeye the Sailor. And this kit is called Popeye and the Jeep. Uh, this kit comes in seven pieces the Jeep comes in two pieces Popeyes in four with the base that you see in front of you the kit itself goes for $150 plus $12 shipping and Tony does offer it fully assembled and painted in grayscale for $350 plus $12 shipping and this kit is based on the classic Max, Max Flesher cartoon but Popeye didn't just begin with the Max Fletcher cartoons. His first appearance was in Thimble Theater comic strips on January 17th, 1929. And was created by Elsie Chrysler Seeger. And Popeye is one of those characters that somehow never grows old on anybody. Uh, to this day, I still love watching Popeye cartoons. I know Virginia does as well, and this is her kit. This is the one that she wanted. And we're going to take a look at this kit. And I got to admit, like the Space Ghost that I purchased from Tony a while back and did a review on a couple weeks back, this kit is absolutely incredible. The level of detail towards both Popeye and the Jeep is just astounding. And everything that Tony did to make this look like a classic cartoon and comic strip characters really shows. He put a lot, you know, he should, this has a lot of heart in it. And we'll begin with Eugene the Jeep, who is an extra dimensional being. A little bandages on his nose. But Tony did an exceptional job of bringing this character to 3D printed life big goofy smile, a little collar and all the spots on his back. Those big old eyes and paws. And the second piece for the Jeep is his tail which will sit in there just like that. And that's a perfect fit. I don't even think I have to use Quake Putty for that. But just fits absolutely perfect and sits in his sits in his little spot on the base just like so it's an amazing kit uh, the base uh, just like the one for Space Ghost uh, no extra detail nice oval base Ooh, excuse me don't want to break that let me get a uh, measurement on the base uh, this kit stands nine inches tall overall uh, side to side the base itself measures eight and a half inches across, front to back, about four and three quarter inches. So, a fairly decent size base and footprint for a two figure kit. And a 3D printed kit, you know, two figures plus the base, and this thing, you know, goes for 150 bucks. That's not bad. And also, like Space Ghost, these figures are printed solid. They're not hollow in any way, shape, or form. And as you can see, the part, you know, the parts fit for the Jeep. Yeah, he'll have to be, you know, glued down so he doesn't lean forward. Oh, I'm just tempting fate. I can see it right now. Stands just like so. Kind of a cute little guy. And now we move on to the main star of this two-figure set, Popeye the Sailor. And Tony has done 
an unbelievable job of capturing the cartoon look of this character and this is the body from his boots his bow legs to his classic sailor shirt and a little bit of sanding but like Space Ghost these kits are just unbelievably well made got a nice amount of heft to it for being a solid 3D printed kit and I think she had this thing paid for Monday or Tuesday and it arrived today Tony had, I think has some of the most lightning fast shipping I've ever seen but definite cartoon inspiration in the figure very beautifully done and will fit in just like so we'll aim the camera up a little bit and it Popeye has had numerous artists over the years even after Seeger passed away in 1938 there were multiple artists that kept drawing Popeye throughout the years and in 1932 King Features Syndicate was asked to create a series of animated cartoons for Paramount Pictures along with uh, Max Fletcher Studios and the first cartoons were released in 1933 and these cartoons would precede the movie at the time at the times after the first cartoon showed Popeye cartoons remained a staple of Paramount Pictures studio schedule for nearly 25 years in this day and age that is unheard of you know if you saw something like that in this day and age you'd see it once and it'd be gone you'd never see it again but 25 years of pre-movie Popeye cartoon shorts is something extraordinary and the main reason why is that a poll was taken in 1937 uh, in the April 1937 issue of Fortune magazine and Popeye was voted by the adult readers as their second favorite comic strip behind Little Orphan Annie that's something special to this day I don't think anybody can walk by a figure or doll or a photo or you know poster or whatnot of Popeye the Sailor and not know who it is. And even though you know it spawned a live action movie starring the late Robin Williams that did not do very well but wound up gaining one hell of a cult following uh, throughout the years. This is one of the most enduring characters of all time next to characters from the house of mouse warner brothers and so on and along with you know the cavalcade of characters that was in every single one of the cartoons i think popeye is one of those one, one of those cartoons that could never ever be forgotten and it's really nice that tony is taking characters like this and putting them in the spotlight that they finally deserve and we're going to take a look at the left arm and the anchor tattoo that he so proudly sported on his big bulging forearms is really really well done nicely printed slightly raised a little bit of cleanup but it's nothing major and the little indentation and the parts fit of this arm into the socket is such a tight fit I don't need quick putty for it and he's starting to come together so my hats off to Tony for making it you know for making sure that this thing fits as snug as it does and we'll pull out a second arm you know for the overall design of this kit it's just an amazing piece all the way around and this is his right arm with his trademark pipe and again 
anchor tattoo on his on his forearm. I have to take him out of the base to see exactly how that's going to fit right. Uh, yeah, I'm not tempting fate on that one. But his arm will fit in just like so. And I'll bring out the head sculpt. And the head sculpt really, really shines and brings out the true character all the way around. And one of the most amazing details in this head sculpt, and this is the collar and the head, is the little hairs coming off the top of his head under the bill of his hat. You could not nail that with traditional hand sculpting. That would be literally impossible. But this definitely has the character of the character through and through. It's absolutely amazing. Maybe I will try a little bit of Quake Putty on that head. I'm not busting off those hair strands. Virginia would murder me. She absolutely fell in love with this when she unboxed it this afternoon. And she would... <laughs> I would cease to exist if I broke any of this. So I'm not pushing my luck. So, let's fit him in like so. No cans of spinach are included because none are needed. This kit has a has a character all on its own. Let's see if I can maybe fit that arm on there just for a brief second or two and give an overall fully built look. And there we have it. Popeye and the Jeep. Uh, big, big shout out to Tony Cipriano for the way that he did this, uh, the level of detail and the amount of heart put into this is absolutely unreal. So I will leave contact information and just so you, you know, a lot of people don't know that from the 1950s to the 1980s, there were 29 broadcast television shows for children of this character. 29 different shows over a 30 year time frame. I don't think there's any other cartoon character that's ever had that longevity in any way, shape, or form. And nonetheless, he's not just popular here in the States, he was popular in Japan as well. And from the very first animated theater shorts to the modern day, he has been voiced by 26 American voice actors and 10 Japanese voice actors in his history. That's an impressive list of a character that debuted in 1929. That is nuts. Over a hundred years ago. And this character is still going strong. He didn't need spinach for that. He just needed the popularity and he got it. His adventures with Olive Oil, Bluto, Sweet Pea, Poop Deck Pappy, Wimpy, you name it, the character has endured to this day. Uh, as I said before, I will leave contact information for uh, Tony Cipriano, uh, his Facebook page. If you want to get this, um, give him a shout out. This is very highly recommended, as is the Space Ghost. Um, very, very big thank you to Tony for getting this to her as fast as you did. Again, ludicrous speed shipping. Is there anything else I forgot to mention? Nope. Not at all. I want to thank everybody who's tuned in uh, and kept tuning in and kept subscri you know, subscribers showing up. Really appreciate it. 
but for this review of Popeye and the Jeep, this is the Figure Kit Garage wishing you a wonderful rest of your weekend. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe. Build a kit.